Well, I'm going to call this video Newsweek wants Jake Paul canceled for interviewing Donald J. Trump. Newsweek, quote, journalist, unquote, attempts to cancel Jake Paul for interviewing Donald Trump. I am not a fan of Jake Paul uh, for, for a number of reasons. I'm not, I'm not hating on him, but I'm not liking on him either. So this is not a defense of Jake Paul or Donald Trump, for that matter. It's defense against the, the freedom of speech, the freedom of, well, the idea of having open, free discourse, civil, open, free discourse. This is what I'm defending. This is ultimately what I'm defending here. And what this Newsweek writer has done is, is absolutely shameful. You should not call yourself a journalist and write such hot garbage as this person did, which is clearly aimed at attempting to whip up a cancel culture crowd to, or by the way, just, just a little, or I'll just finish with this, to whip up a cancel culture crowd so that you can stigmatize any type of resistance to your particular moral supremacist, pharisaical ideology, which is, which is an attempt to murder dissent in America, to cut off competition so that your white billionaires that you serve and that's who you serve here, Danye Hajaji. You serve white billionaires. You serve the powerful and the elite over the poor with, with, with hot garbage that you've, you've put out here. And you're not hot garbage. Now, I'm not going to call another human being hot garbage. What, what you produced is hot garbage. And if you were a Christian, I don't know if you are or not, but if you are a Christian, I would tell you to repent for the evil that you put into the world and the evil that you're attempting to perpetuate. So Newsweek writer creates Jake Paul cancel culture piece for interviewing Donald J. Trump. This is another brief. We ended up with five briefs today out of the, out of the six stories. Really, really interesting. Apparently, Danya Hajaji of Newsweek wants to destroy Jake Paul's ability to make a living as she has written a damning hit piece targeting Paul for cancellation for committing the crime of interviewing President Donald Trump. This woman and what she does is just one of many poster children of privileged, entitled elites who sit in their urban high-rise apartments casting swine before pearls in the name of their cult of hate and despair called critical race theory. The kinder fascism, if you will. And, I'll, and I will, once again, I'm going to try to do this with regularity. I'll offer the caveat. Not all things about critical race theory are bad, but that's how the devil works. That's how Satan works. What he does is he tells you, sometimes he'll tell you three or four lies to tell you the one really, really, or four, three or four truths to tell you the one really, really damaging, hateful lie. But more often than not, it's usually one or two truths. He starts off with one or two truths and then just hits you with lie after lie. And that's what critical race theory is. Critical race theory starts off with a number of truths. There's a number of methodologies in critical race theory that really come from what, I, what, what is called post-structuralist thought. And post-structuralist thought in and of itself is not critical race theory. But there's a lot of stuff that comes out of post-structuralist thought that I learned in my early 20s, back in the 90s, that I've applied to my life in, I think, very, very helpful way. Even the idea of deconstruction, of deconstructionism, is a, is, it, it can be a very, very helpful tool in freeing you from the patterns of thought that were put in you rather than patterns of thought that you stand on your own or that you take stewardship of on your own. You, you flush out and figure out, what do I really believe? What do I really understand? These are incredibly useful things. So uh, the, what, what, what I see going on is, much like the quote-unquote left is using the plea of the needy to basically destroy the very needy that they're, they're alleging to be helping, so too does the right. They do the same thing. There are so many things about critical race theory that actually can help white human beings. It's very constructive for a lot of uh, reasons, but what they're going to do is they're going to blanket assault CRT, and they're going to uh, vilify all of it so that even the good parts we're going to reject. Even, even the legitimate plea of the needy that CRT addresses, we're going to ignore because CRT is being used by the quote-unquote left to, to basically attack everyone, to, to cut off competition, to destroy competition. So I just want to offer that caveat as I go forward here. Apparently, Danya Hajaji of Newsweek wants to destroy Jake Paul's ability to make a living as she has written a damning hit piece targeting Paul for cancellation for committing the crime of interviewing President Donald Trump. 
This woman and what she does is just one of many poster children of privileged, entitled elites who sit in their urban high-rise apartment, casting swine before pearls in the name of their cult of hate and despair called critical race theory. The kinder fascism, if you will, or at least their, their, their fellow travelers. Here's an excerpt of her hate piece targeting an American citizen for market assassination for not towing to the CRT part. I should say kowtowing is what I meant to say there. For the CRT party line, another Chairman Z acolyte, to be sure. Jake Paul FaceTimes Donald J. Trump listed at top of achievement. There you go. This is this is this is she, she's uh, she's dog whistling to her 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 crowd that she knows listening. She's right, right there. She's saying this. You should you should think that this is horrible. You sh how dare you? He, he uh, Donald Trump racist. Donald Trump evil. And he's listening at his top of achievement. You. Donald J. Trump was the former president of the United States. In the United States of America, I know I'm not saying that you should hold to this, but in the United States of America, anybody that gets to talk to the president of the United States, that is something that is significant. That is something that human beings count as one of these once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. I, I think that's all that Jake Paul is suggesting there when he calls it his top achievement. He's not endorsing everything about Donald J. Trump. But she wants you to believe that, and she wants you to hate this man just for talking to another human being that her little cult deems to be untalkable because she views herself as being morally superior to everyone else. She is without sin. When Jesus said when the woman uh, was, was going to be stoned for adultery, let he who is without sin cast the first stone, uh, uh, th throw the first stone, she would have started hurling away at this adulteress she would have murdered this woman right away because she thinks that she doesn't sin, clearly. Jake Paul, the YouTuber who once called COVID-19 a hoax. There you go. And most news, fake. There you go. See this? This is right there. She's couching him. She wants to make it clear he's a bad, evil person. Has proudly. There's that. Why, why she used the word proudly? Because she wants you to associate, you know, white pride, white supremacism. She's calling him a white supremacist, white gentleman. This is all dog whistles. So many dog whistles in here. You know, the, the quote unquote left points out dog whistling, but they got plenty of their own. And when they call him the quote unquote left, they call him the quote unquote left because they're not. They're right wing fanaticals. They are not left wing at all. They are not the left that I understand. When I read, when I read Marx and Engels and other, other, other leftist thinkers, I don't get leftism in anything that they're doing anymore. Has proudly revealed he has spoken to former President Donald Trump over FaceTime. In a series of Instagram photos posted on Tuesday, Paul, aged 24, got to put that little thing, he's just a little young whelp there, you know, what does he know? Shared a screenshot of his call with Trump as well as, and also to point out that, you know, his influence over young people. So it's another reason to cancel him because, you know, he's got ungodly influence on young people. So end it. Shared a screenshot of his call with Trump as well as a picture of himself posing with a whiteboard. Apparently, no, whiteboard. See, you have to say whiteboard. That's another dog whistle. Want to get that white supremacism connotation in there. Apparently listing perceived achievements over the past two weeks. The first item on the list reads, FaceTimed Donald Trump. Shame on you. And you know, Danya, if, if by any if, if if God in his mercy finds a way to get you to see this video, Danya, I would dare you. I would triple dog dare you to come on this show live and I will talk to you and I will tell you what a horrible sin you've committed here and why it is that you're an elitist woman who is murdering the very poor that you think that you're supporting. And I think I'll end it with that.